getting close. There's something to see here. Look at this. This is a Chinese ship that is carrying four huge cranes squeezing under our Bay Bridge here today. Just squeezing under. It was an incredible arrival at the Port of Baltimore. WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager has more on this special delivery. The cranes you see behind me left a port in Shanghai two months ago on a ship some 800 feet long destined right here for the Port of Baltimore. The four massive cranes came aboard a ship that traveled thousands of miles, perhaps facing no greater challenge than trying to fit under the Bay Bridge just before its arrival here at the Port of Baltimore. Four feet of clearance, you know, it looks tight, uh, you know, as we're moving. We had to actually shut one span down for traffic because cars going across would see that and, and it would uh, catch their attention. Once the colossal cargo had cleared the key bridge, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan and port officials welcomed its arrival and the expansion and the facility's ability to load and unload cargo on a grander scale. Now with these largest cranes, I think, in the world that are 25 feet taller than the previous ones, they can reach all the way across the widest ships without turning them around. It's going to dramatically increase production here at the port. Supersized cranes to handle supersized ships with the promise of creating new jobs in the region, but just getting them here from China may have been the toughest job of all. Came down around the Cape of Good Hope through the Indian Ocean, headed over to the Caribbean, almost a beeline to Florida. And what type of season do we have right now? It's a very active hurricane season. The ship arrived at Cape Henry in Virginia Beach over a week ago and then had to wait out Hurricane Ida before making the last leg of its journey. As you might imagine, installing cranes of this magnitude is no small feat, but it's expected they'll be operational here by the end of the year. Reporting at the Port of Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.